gotta look old on camera. You can do that uh, slim thing. Yeah, I can. <laughs> let me talking. let me put the beauty filter on. <laughs> this this is my koi look. Koi fish. <laughs> Guess what, people? I'm like 40. This is great. Midlife crisis activate. Anyways, so trudging through the internet, got on Facebook one day and realized I'm really bored. And a buddy texted me and said, hey, man, I got this great idea. You need to buy this thing off me. So I did, naturally. I mean, that's what you do, right? Um, I'll show you what I got. I'm going to introduce to you guys an amazing new member of the Vulture family here. <laughs> Look at this unit. This right here is Uncle Rico. 1973 Econo Line 300 camper van. I know it's dark, but we've been doing stuff all day. Look, oh, look, headlight lighting. Lighting supplied by Chrysler across the street. Anyways, there's going to be a whole lot of interesting stuff come up with this. We're actually going to turn this sweet old van into a rolling podcast studio because well it's what we do and i can do what i want and it's the internet and you guys if you watch the video that's cool if not whatever dude go watch another one check it out though sweet the hood on it though unfortunately has the structural integrity of wet cardboard so you give it a good wiggle you can actually look at that i mean you hear that i heard it <laughs> and if we pan around enough we get a bradley in the shot say what's up bradley how's it going yeah Oh, we're gonna get some light. Yeah, let's get some light. How do you turn it on on an iPhone? You just say Luminos, right? I don't know about Chevy that. Lumina. There you go. Let's see. Will it show any light? Look at that. There's the John. Perfect. Yeah. Here is the inside. It's pretty sweet, pretty rusty and crusty. It does have air conditioning. That's a hand. Came with tubbo towels. It did come with some tubbo towels. Actually, nice. we got that from GarageBound LLC. Uh, they got a pretty sweet relationship going on. Look how gross this thing is. I'm going to show more video footage on this light. I just want to go ahead and get this out there for the people. Econo line. Sweet. It's got a small block forward in it. Looking pretty good. Um, we're actually going to hot wire it. I don't have keys for this thing yet, so that is what it is. Ah. Look at all this beautiful vintage equipment. Manual, manual steering. I think it has a C6 transmission in it too. I'm not really sure, but yeah, we're just gonna pan it down here. Look at all this. Yeah, there's nothing actually worth seeing in the back. It's just so funky. It's ridiculous, but it's all here. This thing was actually driven a few years ago, and uh, I got it off a pretty sweet, cool old dude down in Chattanooga, which I'll show some of that process later in the video but i just i can't wait this is probably one of the cooler things i've bought this week with lack of sleep <laughs> i don't know how many of you guys out there do it but you get tired enough you will start spending and be like man i got 500 dollars in a checking account i don't have to pay no bills can't see nothing in there but nevertheless, there'll be a whole lot of stuff. Also, if anybody's got any tail light covers for an old Econo line, hit me up. Look at that. Anyways, now we cut over to the recovering section of it. Here's your phone. All right, YouTube. So we got the trailer. We're down here at the Majestic Garage Bound LLC. Thanks, Mike, for helping out today. We are going to pick up a project vehicle. We got Lucky Chucky. He's doing cool. We got Mike in front of him, and we got me back here in the old Dirty Max doing work. So we're going to pick it up. Stay tuned. This is going to be great. Breaker 1-9. Got the convoy rolling through old Chattanooga. Rolling with the Nuga. Got the big super truck. Got the other Chevy. Rolling in the GMC Denali. Too bougie back here. Yes, sir. Love it. Look at the scenery. I mean, could you, could you imagine living in a nicer city? I mean, we got people jogging, sightseeing, bridges and stuff, lots of trains, lots of cheap 
easy to get title vehicles down here too. So Tennessee and me, I think we're going to get along just fine. Activate you two people. <laughs> What's hey! up? Hey. Good morning. It's Garage Bound LLC in Ross Vegas, Tennessee. Yeah, we're out here picking up the sweetest rods of rods. Look at this beauty. Thanks, Mike, for finding this for me. Hey, yeah, you're welcome. I, I saw this thing. I'm like, somebody I know is going to love the weirdness of this thing and have to have it. The body was completely straight. And I'm like, there's a couple rust holes here and there, but this could be a cool something. This is going to be a cool something. It had to replace the old Cousin Eddie, so i got to get a new nickname for this thing. Look at this. Windows popped out. It's just miles of sin back there. You know, it got a certain stench. It's got a certain stench. And also, look. It's a Lucky Chucky. It's a Lucky Chucky ready for action, baby. I mean, getting his trailer ready. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's a good day for an iPhone video. She rough. She rough. We don't get that. Look at all that real estate. And she got the eight lugs. The old ground. Look at the old garage bound LLC super truck over here. Who daily drives something like that other than Mike Brandt? I mean, yeah, I like it. Oh, we got it loaded. Mexican food ingested. Heading back to the garage. I'm excited. I got this tub of towels bottle of spray I found in here. I got it from Garage Bound LLC. We're actually going to um, use this bottle of heavy duty degreaser, probably make a TikTok or two, and, and add a whole video of the actual, just the cleaning of the van, stripping interior, throwing all that garbage away. I just got to make it actually start first. So that's actually, I don't have to make it start. Just got to add fuel and twist the key and put a battery on it. No biggie. But yeah, this is this is going to be epic. I uh, just wonder how good this is going to clean it. I'm sure I'll do a fine job, but we get to see this thing cleaned up a bit. And then we're going to wipe on some clear coat. And I think it's just going to be, ah, I don't know. I got low hopes and no budget and it's going to be amazing. Stay tuned, y'all.